In this video, we're going to review gas stoichiometry, so we're going to look at how we can use the ideal gas law and the stoichiometry rules we've already learned and apply them to some new problems. To do this, we're going to look at two rules. Here's our first one. What volume of carbon dioxide is produced when 5.5 grams of methane gas reacts with excess oxygen at 35 degrees Celsius and 100 kilopascals? So anytime we're asked to do stoichiometry, we do need a balanced equation. So let's go ahead and write that. So we have carbon, or sorry, methane reacting with oxygen to give us carbon dioxide and water because we're going to assume complete combustion. Then we need to balance. So we're going to balance for the hydrogens. And then for the oxygens, we have 5.5 grams. We're being asked to figure out how many liters of carbon dioxide. And we have a temperature of 35 degrees Celsius which we're going to convert to Kelvin. So we get 308 degrees Kelvin, and we have a pressure of 100 kilopascals. So when we're dealing with stoichiometry, your first step is to always find moles. So in this case, we are given a mass. So we're going to find moles using moles equals mass over molar mass. So our mass is 5.5 grams. And our molar mass is 16.05 grams per mole. And so we get 0.343 moles of methane. Step two is to always use the mole ratio to convert to whatever it is that you are looking for. So we're going to take our 0.343 moles of CH4. We're going to multiply it by our coefficient, so there's a 1 in front of our carbon dioxide and a 1 in front of our methane. So our methanes cancel, and we have converted that to moles of CO2. And then your last step is going to be to find whatever it is your, the question's asking us. So in this case, we're going to be we're being asked to find our volume. So we have moles, we have pressure and temperature, so that means we can use PV equals NRT. If we rearrange that for V, we'd be dividing both sides by P. So our volume is equal to our moles times our gas constant times our temperature, all divided by our pressure. So let's go ahead and put our information in. So we have 0 0.343 moles. That's our R value, 8.314 kilopascals dot liters over moles dot Kelvin times 308 degrees Kelvin all over 100 kilopascals. So our kilopascals cancel, our k's cancel, our moles cancel, so we're left with units of liters. And when we do that on the calculator, we get 8.8 .8 liters. So if we start with 5.5 grams of methane, we can expect to get 8.8 .8 liters of carbon dioxide. In this second example, it's asking us what mass of sodium azide so sodium azide is NaN3. It's actually a special form of a sodium nitrogen compound. It's required to produce 65 liters of nitrogen gas that is required to safely inflate an airbag. Assume the reaction occurs at 32 degrees Celsius and 108 kilopascals. So we do already have our balanced equation here. So we want to be able to make 65 liters, and we want to know how many grams of our sodium azide. So if we write down the rest of our given information, we have 32 degrees Celsius. We're adding 273 to that. So we get uh, 305 degrees Kelvin. And our pressure is 108 kilopascals. So in this case, we want to find our moles first. And so we're actually going to use PV equals NRT to figure out our moles. So PV equals NRT. If we rearrange that for N, we'd be dividing both sides by RT. So I'm just going to move up here so that I've got more space. So PV over RT. So let's go ahead and put our information in. So we have 108 kilopascals, 65 liters, all over. So 8.314 kilopascals dot liters over moles dot Kelvin times our 305 Kelvin. So our K's cancel, liters cancel, KPA's cancel, and we'll be left with units of moles. 
and we get 2.77 moles. And that's actually our moles of nitrogen gas because that's what we have enough information for. So then we're going to use our mole ratio because that's always our second step is to use our mole ratio and we want to find out how much sodium azide we can make. So we're going to take our 2.77 moles of nitrogen and we are multiplying it by 2 because that's the coefficient from our NaN3 sodium azide over 3 N2. So our N2s cancel. We get 1.85 moles of sodium azide. Our last step, we're going to find mass because that's what the question is asking us to do. And to do that, we're going to do moles times molar mass. So we take our 1.85 moles, multiply it by our molar mass, which is 65.02 grams per mole. Our moles cancel and we are left with 123.3 grams. So if we want to be able to make 65 liters of nitrogen gas, which is what's needed to inflate an airbag in this example, we would need to start with 120.3 grams of sodium azide. So that concludes this review of gas stoichiometry. So we looked at two examples, one where you start with mass, and one where you started with a volume and all of the other given information. So there are two different ways that you're going to start these, these problems. Hopefully that helps.